thank you very much uh, for coming here to Basque County, so Folsa for coming here. And I would like to ask you, as a member of the IRSP, if you can trace the history of your own party from the creation until now. Yes, our party is formed along the ideals of James Connolly. It was set up to promote the labour cause and the soldiers' cause. We take our, most of our political aspirations from Connolly's writings. We see Connolly as an inspirational leader in 1916. Though our party was formed in 1974 by Seamus Costello, we still track our lineage back through Connolly to the Irish Citizens' Army. When they set up the Irish Citizens' Army to defend the workers, against the onslaught of the scabs and the employers who employed mercenaries. Do you see the possibility of a united and socialist Ireland close, closer now than in the past or not? No, I see it further away. The partition of Ireland, an artificial state, was set up in 1921. And over the years, all Republicans from different persuasions, whether it be left or right, have all pushed for an independent 32 county socialist Ireland. In latter years, since the so-called peace process has come online, that has copper fastened partition. It has increased sectarianism. If you just look in Belfast, you'll see that uh, peace walls have increased and become more prevalent. People are more disenchanted and more disaffected. We have an increase in political policing. We have an increase now in prisoners which instead of re uh, reversing, it is increasing. So on a constant basis, our own members, we had uh, 18 members recently arrested and held for questioning and released without charge. This is all form of harassment under the new so-called peace process. What would be the key to bring together both communities? Both communities, if you analyze them and sit down with them, we have sat down, our party has sat down in the past, with people from the Loyalist uh, Power Maltries and Loyalist side. And when you speak to those people, they want the same things in the working class areas. They want jobs, they want infrastructure, they want housing, they want a decent life for their people. The Irish Republican Socialist Party was set up as a non-political, a non, sorry, a non-religious sectarian group. We accept all religions in our party. Some of our former leaders, Ronnie Bonton, we're Protestants, so no, we would open our arms to the working class of all cultures, all religions in Ireland. And we